Hey, Trent. Uh, welcome to Miami, man. Um, you Appreciate know, you, bro. Yeah. So, uh, no, obviously you have the previous connection with Mike McDaniel. And, you know, while you mainly contributed on special teams, you did find some opportunities on offense. Um, just what stood out to you from Mike McDaniel as an offensive mind and the way he worked with uh, you guys on offense in, in San Francisco? Oh, man, he's – man, honestly, like, I – I uh, I got asked this question before, bro, and uh, Mike is a genius, man. Um, he – the way that he can – he's able to break down, you know, just the, the defense and he's able to, you know, put put players in position to make plays. Um, it's honestly, um, you know, really, really amazing. Um, with him, uh, you know, Kyle Shanahan also had a big part of that as well, too, where, you know, with that, that whole offensive staff over there in San Fran. So <clears throat> uh, they both – you know, did a great job, but, you know, Mike, you know, being, you know, being in charge of the run game and, um, you know, having, you know, having, having ability with the pass game and everything like that. Um, like I said, he's a mastermind and, um, you know, I just I can't wait to, can't wait to, you know, get it, get into the offense. Obviously I know a little bit of it and everything like that it should be a little bit of carryover and uh, just get ready to get to work. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, bro. Mark Stallworth, Miami Times. <clears throat> hey, Trent, welcome to Miami. Appreciate you, Mark. No problem. My question to you, uh, just like doing some research, uh, you attended Danville uh, High School in Danville, and you played multiple multiple sports, and yeah. as well as leading the football, both sides of the ball. Uh, how, how do you feel that that'll help you uh, where you're at right now today, um, just from that experience as an athlete in general? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think honestly, um, you know, uh, just being just doing just being able to do more. Um, obviously, you know, not not coming in to play defensive back like I did in high school or whatever it may be, but just you know, uh, being able to play different positions. You know, as far as whether that be on special teams, you know, receiver, those type of things. I think that's contributed um, to the fact, you know, why I've been able to you know stay in the league and last in the league as an undrafted free agent. Um, just being able to. Uh, you know, being able to, you know, play offense and be able to use, you know, special teams with the athleticism and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's something that, that definitely played into my favor a lot, uh, just being able to, you know, play uh, both sides, you know, uh, whether that be on teams or whether that be on offense and those type of things. So um, it's definitely played a huge factor, you know, in my career. Barry Jackson, Miami Herald. Hi, Trent. Welcome to Miami. Good to have you hey. here. You played a couple of years. Thank you. You played a couple of years with Chase Edmonds, obviously in Arizona. Just impressions of his skills as a running back. What does he bring to the table? Oh man, he brings uh, Chase is Chase is my guy, and I'm not just saying this because he's my guy. But Chase, um, he's he's a he is a wide receiver running back guy that can really run routes. Really has great hands. Very very high IQ of the game. Um, somebody who. Uh, really takes the you know takes his job serious um, day in and day out. Um, somebody who that you can depend on, um, and you know just somebody who really like I said just just loves the game. And like I said, he's just very 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 dependable, um, very high very very high IQ. Um, you know when it comes to learning plays and you know just you know scouting scouting out the defense and everything like that. And it's just not your typical running back. Somebody who can you know he's not one dimensional um, whatsoever. Can run routes out of the backfield really well. You know, carries the ball really tough, um, and you know, I, and, I, and I noticed that, um, and it was it's amazing to you know be able to see him actually grow. We actually you know came in together in Arizona, and just being able to just see how far he's come as far as route running and you know doing all those different things. So, man, Chase is uh, Chase is Chase is a uh, he's a once in a lifetime back in my opinion. And one other quick thing for you: how much of an advantage, if any, do you think it is for you and and River knowing? This offense, obviously, there'll be a lot of similarities from the 49ers offense. Uh, I'm sure that Mike will put his own sort of nuances in it. Is that any kind of advantage for both of you guys? I think, I think, I think, it, I think it can be. Uh, but then also, I also think that it, you know that it doesn't. It honestly doesn't really matter because we still got to come in and compete. You know, at the end of the day, um, because uh, it doesn't matter if you know the plays or whatever it may be. You still got to go out and execute. You still got to go out and catch balls. You still got to go out. And uh, like I said, you got to go out and make plays. And so um, to me, I definitely do think that obviously it plays into our favor, you know, obviously, you know, coming from the system and everything like that. But um, I think at the end of the day, you still you still got to go out and compete, strap, you know, strap up your cleats and everything like that. So, yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. 
Travis, dolphins.com. Hey, Trent, it's good to see you again, man. My yeah, question was – not too much. My, my question is similar to Barry's in the sense that you come over here with Wes Welker. Do you kind of mm-hmm. view that as an opportunity? You know, once we hit OTAs, the first kind of time on the field with this team, does it kind of hit you as an opportunity to kind of help get his message across to the rest of the receivers room and just kind of say, hey, to the rest of the guys, here's what you can expect? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think for me, um, you know, I don't I don't want to come in and um, I know you, I, I just want to come in and honestly and just just if I have to lead, I just lead by the way that I work, you know, and lead by the, you know, the example, the way that I carry myself and those type of different things. And I know that, you know, Devontae Parker, you know, great receiver that, that that's in the room. And, you know, Jalen Waddle, these guys have um, done tremendous things, you know, um, in this league. And, um, you know, honestly, they, they're they they're the leaders. And so uh, for me, I think, honestly, it's just knowing what Wes expects, you know, from, you know, from the guys and everything like that. And uh, not only what West expects from, you know, from from us as a group, but what I expect from myself, um, you know, I pretty hold, I, I hold myself to a high standard um, just when it comes to, you know, just, you know, about work and everything like that. And so um, just going in every single day and just, um, you know, just just doing what, you know, obviously, you know, what I'm coached to, you know, coached to do and just doing it at an extremely high level. Thank you. Yeah. David, some fentanyl. Hey, Trent, I wanted to get your impressions of Tua, watching him from afar, and have you had any com- uh, communication with him? Hey, David, how are we doing? Great question. Um, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't had any communication with him just yet. Uh, not just yet, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that will definitely change here, here, in the com- here in the coming weeks. Um, but, yes, I have, I have had a lot of time to watch him, have had a lot of time to, you know, really dive into his film and stuff like that and just watching games, you know, uh, from afar on different, on different teams. Um, uh, Travis asked me this question when I was just down there not too long ago. If I uh, had seen a play that you know that really struck me to really like to, and I think the one that I I can't you know really get out of my head is the one where they played against uh, New Orleans. I think he had made a mistake, and you know he came back and like he threw a touchdown. And so you know just seeing little things like that is uh, something that's very very encouraging. You know um, not only as a receiver but also just as a teammate, somebody that. Um, you know, you can get behind. He's a winner, and you go all the way back to Alabama, and you can see that and, um, and the type of player that he is. So excited to get with him and excited to, you know, uh, to play with him. 